Thanks, love and light. Honored to be here and grateful. Thank you for joining me. Um, in this now moment, I would like to discuss the importance of honoring and listening to our bodies and the messages that they give to us. So, for example, I had a plan today about an hour or so ago to meet with a friend who was going to come over and we were going to do aerial yoga which I absolutely love yoga and um, I've been getting into aerial it's it's really really good um, for all kinds of stuff but I'll do a different video on that one actually I'll get my husband to video that I might actually do some poses and anyway that's for a different different time and place but uh, the main message here is I like to convey is that honoring and listening to our bodies so we had a plan to, to meet and do aerial yoga and um, since we've got the setup going I've done a lot of that throughout the week and um, I've added a lot more physical exercise and and I've been very productive and I've been working in the garden and I'm going to work and doing all kinds of stuff and so I wake up this morning and my body is saying whoa I need some rest I need some some quiet time some some uh, just time in nature some meditation some some quiet rejuvenation uh, I made a hibiscus ginger tea mix that is just really soothing and really comforting to to the body right now sort of a detox cleanse, relax, uh, meditate, you know, very meditative. So this is really what my body's saying that it would like for today is uh, less physical and a little bit more stillness and a little bit more relaxing and some quiet time. So um, she calls me and it was the greatest thing and the inspiration to this video and says, um, you know that she loves me dearly and she respects our relationship but all this beautiful energy was flowing and she says um so i wake up this morning and uh i have to listen to my body and my body's telling me it wants to rest and i was like ha ah, that's funny mine is too so in this in this case scenario it was really easy to come to a place where we both can honor our body because we're both like resonant resonating in that energy of choice and we're like yeah rock on let's let's you know honor our bodies so we'll get together soon and all is well we had a nice little chat and then I found myself merging into like working in the garden I can already feel my body relaxing because of the choice it had made to to take it easy today and then um, I made the tea and I did a little gardening and, and now it's been the inspiration for this video and I mean very light gardening not like heavy raking or anything just like a little weeding a little hands-on in the dirt just sitting in a like a meditation position and just kind of working with the garden it's been very relaxing so in this case I've honored my body and my energy and frequency is starting to raise up from that choice and the body's relaxed and any tensions are like I had a kind of an ache in my stomach and um, a little tension in my shoulders and a little something in my lower back and, and it was all these messengers so sometimes it's like you know we ride off with our minds those sensations like toughen it up you know toughen it up you got to go get this plan done deal with it you know stuff like that and that's not necessarily all the time honoring our bodies and yes I get it there are going to be times when we have to go to our jobs or we have certain things that we don't have as much flexibility to cancel or reschedule I get that honor that as well and you know when you can if you can take a lunch break and maybe meditate or something like that there's always ways to make a choice to at least bring in some kind of you know shift really honestly there is there is a way or you can do like if you have to go through something you can do deep breathing and still kind of honor that body and be like I love you I respect you you know for today we will have to go through this and just kind of maybe even talk to your body but also listen to it it's very important that's the main message here but I just want to point out that I do recognize that there are going to be times when you can't just like um, 
I see my life has become very freestyle and it's got a lot more flexibility to it, you know, and um, there was a lot of a lot of clearing and a lot of cleansing and a lot of listening to my intuition and body to get to this place in time that that I could be this flexible. So I do understand that because I've worked six days a week, I've worked full time jobs for a very long time. So I understand there are times when we can't necessarily just go sit on a tree all day long or, you know choose choose that direction but in this case scenario it was to do aerial yoga for the you know for a few hours or something and that was easily able to shift so it could be that let's say uh, you worked all week and your body's tired and come let's say Friday night or something you got plans to go out with some friends you're really excited you made these plans uh, Friday comes and you've got messengers in your body saying you know, maybe your head gets a little sensation or you start to feel a little tired or, you know, you're, you get a stomach, your stomach may say something, your back may say something, and your body may be saying to you, hey, for tonight, I want to go home and rest. Honor that. And true friends and true, true love, true love connections, honestly, beautiful, beautiful energy within our lives with other people and healthy boundaries will respect and understand that so if you say hey for tonight i don't think i'm gonna come out I'll be like why we had this plan I'll be like i honor that we had this plan i love you dearly but i've got to listen i'm listening to my body i'm going to honor my body and would love to catch up at another time maybe tomorrow night you know or something like that do your best to be in conscious communication when shifting your plans um to honor your body so we also want to honor other people and other commitments that we've made and really try to find a conscious medium and you know healthy boundaries to that but just listening to those sensations and so you can go into a meditation and you can listen to your body to connect also to your intuition so I honestly uh, find that to be very profound that's why I was like honestly I was actually going to say another word, but it's funny how those come in. So I'm just being honest. <laughs> um, but, it, but in all, all truth here, this exercise I would like to share with you, I've been using for about 15 to 20 years. I'm losing track because it's like every now moment. But uh, it's been going on for some time, and it's a kind of a practice I, I started with to connect to my intuition. Um, technically it started in journaling like I would write a word and then I would listen to my body and see what that word resonated with um, however it built into something you know I got that from a book and then like it trans transformed into something where um, I called it the gut brain so we have actually reproduced serotonin out of our digest or out of our gut and also we have neurotransmitters that connect and different hormones and we our gut connects to our brain which is really cool so they're like in a partnership so when we honor our body and we listen to our gut literally follow your gut um, it also helps with the mind the brain so in no way am I saying just don't ever listen to the you know you just don't use your mind just always just you know go on your feelings but in all in all truth like listening to your gut and following your intuition will also bring the best ability of intelligence and choice making so it's kind it's very wise to listen to your gut to listen to your body and to listen to your intuition and that's pretty much all connected so um, listen to your intuition listen to your gut it's all connected and listen to your body so this exercise what I'll do is like when I'm trying to make a simple decision or resonate with one or another thing I'll ask I'll ask my gut I'll either put my hand on it or I'll just go into a meditation and let's say for example because of this example I gave for today I'll ask my body do you want to do aerial yoga today and then what I notice when I say that question right now is so notice the sensation so what I'm noticing is a tightening in my stomach and a tightening in my back and my hips and my shoulders and my neck so everything's kind of compressing right now so it's not feeling so so connected it's feeling a little bit like I don't know you know that feeling 
I guess, because you're, your mind's like, well, I made a plan, but your body's like, you know, so just listen to that sensation. So mine's saying it's got this sensation that's not that comfortable, let's say. And then I'll say, take a deep breath and clear, clear that question. And then I'll ask, Would I like to just rest and meditate today and take it easy and maybe work with the plants, but just have a restful, quiet time? Well, that was cool. I actually saw a beam of light. I saw a cross with white light, white yellow light. Like it was like, like your light, like a Himalayan um, light was on, and I saw it in a cross right in my third eye, and I felt. I felt it expand and go throughout my body and relax. So I feel very relaxed and my hip loosened up. My stomach's not feeling crunched or tight. My shoulders are relaxed. And so therefore this sensation using my intuition is saying I feel much more comfortable with that decision. Yeah. And you may get a vision, like I didn't imagine that to just happen right here now on the on the uh, the camera, but it, it, it does and sometimes it's a sensation or it could be a vision. Um, but I definitely got like that confirmation. I can feel that confirmation saying, yes, today is a relaxed day. Regenerate uh, your cells, rejuvenate, relax, drink beautiful hibiscus tea, take it easy. Um, like when I listen even further to my body, you can do it for foods. Like, you know, you can listen and say, like, what foods? I mean, it can get to the point where your discernment is so strong that you can see a vision. Or like right now, like I close my eyes and I think, what food would you like today, body? And I can see avocado. I can see an avocado. And I can see arugula, which is a green and I can see uh, red peppers. So for some reason right now, my body is saying to me, I would like avocado, red peppers, and arugula. So I'll probably end up making a salad for lunch or, or dinner uh, to kind of go with the flow of that uh, because that's what my body's saying it needs. So you can take it even into that and you can visualize it or you can feel the sensation of it. Uh, I was gonna go with the sensation originally, but then this vision came in. So hey, it could be a vision, it could be a feeling, it could be a confirmation, you could hear something. It's, it's okay, be open to whatever way the message is, is coming through. But in this case scenario, it's just really it's just a simple practice of listening to your gut or listening to your body and listening to your intuition and honoring that. So it can be something like, um, do I wanna go on this date? Um, do I wanna work at this place? Do I want to? Do I want to live here? Or do I want to move? You know, and you can really, really listen to how that's feeling in your body. Our body is intelligent. I mean, it speaks to us, so it's all connected. Our souls, our bodies, our mind—they're all connected. And of course, the more you clear your container, I love this word "container." My husband actually used that. I have to credit him. He uses the word "container" as far as energy coming in. The more clear the container is. Um, and I absolutely love that. But seriously, like doing regular meditation practices, regular yoga, eating healthy, organic, it does kind of give a clear container and a clear vessel. I, I like the word vessel, to be honest. Clear vessel to be able to hear and listen to your body more clearly. So you may need to go through a phase where you clear out, like you could, you know, slowly integrate some exercise or diet or something to get to the point where you're being able to connect to your gut, like good gut health, for example, would be a good resonant energy to being able to fully listen. But as far as just the exercise, just just try it. You know, if you feel inspired, just try it when making when you feel indecision about uh, whether or not to do something. Like I plan to do this, but I'm just not feeling it. Listen, listen to your body. You know, listen to it. Is it is it relaxing? Is it resonating? What sensations are coming up? Do you have any, you know, feelings, visions, thoughts, sensations? Listen to all that. Really honor it. And then make the conscious choice to what honors um, the situation and can heighten the energy and serve the greatest good. So for today, the greatest good was for us to, you know, have that beautiful conversation and come in, you know, into conscious agreement that we'll do area yoga at a different time. But for day, today, we're both going to honor our bodies and relax and rest. And that was, you know, it's been a beautiful experience. I feel so much more energy 
from that decision. And I feel much healthier. I feel good. I'm not feeling tense or stressed or like, you know, like feeling like, oh, I got to do this because I made this plan. But honestly, tomorrow I might resonate better with going and doing some area yoga. But for today in this very now, my body wants to relax. So I honor that and listen to that. So just, just trying that exercise and just listening to the sensations, hearing the messengers. Is your body relaxed? Is it at ease? Or is it tense? Are you getting a vision? Who knows? You could get a vision when you're like, hey, should I go out? You could get a vision of your bed. And that could be like, you know, your, your intuition telling you, let's rest for tonight. Or whatever it may be. It could be that you see yourself in a group of people. It could be the, to go out with your friends. You know, you get that confirmation through the sensation, the messengers, the feelings, the visions. And you just honor that through a little small meditation. This doesn't require much time. Just a question and just a moment of listening and through breath. Just breathing, listening, being honor, you know, honoring yourself and honoring your body's messages to the now moment. I'm just taking that now moment. Um, you can be busy and still take a breath and a quick question in a now moment and just feel the sensations and um, honor those messages. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful and I hope you feel inspired to listen to your body, your intuition and honor those messages. Thank you, many blessings and namaste.